My name is Bruce Shapiro. My medium is motion control. It started with my becoming aware of computer art. The idea that you could create a beautiful picture simply with a computer program. My first project, uh, actually the first time I tried to show the wonders of motion control was with just two motors on my desk. I was blown away that I could make the motor go exactly once around. My kids were young, talking about Easter coming up, and that was the first thing that I built was an Easter egg colorer, which later became Eggbot. <laughs> About that time I discovered something called a stepper motor, which is a type of motor that breaks the circular motion, you know, the normal spinning kind of motion, but breaks it into discrete steps, which sort of in my brain was like, oh, this is a motion pixel, the light bulb went on. What if by using by breaking up motion into pixels or pieces, you could artists could do the same thing with motion that they were doing on the screen. We'll start with just a, a simple Simple pattern. Science Museum art is such a narrow niche. It's not in the fine art world. Um, a lot of times people who go through science museums are looking at art pieces and they're not aware or I mean they don't think is it art or which I'm totally cool with. It's, it's whether they look at it and interact with it and it engender some sort of feeling in them that, that I'm after. Well, a lot of where I start is with surplus. And I'm essentially lazy, so if something works, I just leave it. So this computer, I don't know how old it is, and just last week the keys started sticking and I had no time preparing for uh, the Maker Fair. I think it's, it's limitless and, of course, you're hindered. Um, the limitless aspect is uh, it's only limited by imagination. There is so much hardware and software out there nowadays and the availability of information as well as the, the pieces of machinery is unprecedented. This is called the anemonemone. Essentially, what we have is a, a PC that can control this array of seven times seven times seven motors. And it was a lot of fun because people um, are convinced that it's sensing their, and it's not. We hope to do that someday. You can model something like this, and a lot of people, and a couple people at the Maker Fair brought that up. But what I found is, you know, modeling's great, but how exactly, you know, it's the tail is moving and how it gets caught on things are just, it's too messy and it, it, you just have to do it and see what you get. Whether it's, you know, motors and, or a ball rolling through sand or bubbles, um, you know, it, it may seem disjointed, but it's all motion control. It's all just connecting stuff that moves to a computer program.